What's going on, y'all? So about was a couple of weeks ago, my cousins was over here. They was up, they was at the crib, and we were talking about our times when you know we would visit. Me and my sisters would go and visit them while they were living in the Robert Taylor Project Housing. So for those who don't know what the Robert Taylor Homes were, it was a project housing. It was established around 1962, and it was demolished. The last building, 5135, was demolished in 2007. But my auntie and my cousins, they lived their majority all their life. So we would go over there after school. Matter of fact, the school bus would drop us off over there at um, John Ferrin Elementary School. The name has since changed now. but And then we would walk over to, you know, 5100 or 5135. They lived... In 5100 and then 5135. So we would walk over there and we would spend our days at the school. Now, these project buildings were the tallest projects I had ever seen in my life. 16-story buildings. They were lined up and down State and Federal Street. The back end on, uh, on State Street, the front end on Federal. And um, as crazy as it was in these project, these project houses, I had some of the best times of my life and we had some crazy memories. And it's really because we were shorties. Like we were kind of oblivious to a lot of stuff that, were go that was going on around this time. There's a lot of crazy stuff happening in Robert Taylor's, but I remember being over there with my auntie, man, and we would be out outside. We would be like what they call like the porch or outside. It was a gated fence lined up so you can see outside, but to keep you from falling down from however many stories up you were. When we would be bored, my auntie would say, y'all go outside and play. Or she'd tell us, go downstairs to this little, they had a little thing, a uh, program called Black on Black Love in the Robert Taylor building. And I would laugh because I'm like, man, I don't want to be down here sometimes, man. Sometimes I want to be down here. Sometimes I want to just stay up, you know, and just sit in the crib. But I realized how important a lot of these programs were to a lot of the families, you know what I'm saying, during this time to keep kids doing positive things like, we would be down there doing all type of arts and crafts, pottery type stuff. We would be making like clay figures, clay structures, all type of drawings and paintings we would be doing down here in this, at this, at, on the first floor of the project building. Like, I mean, and we would make all type of crazy, not crazy, but dope creations down there. And um, then I know we would get bored with my cousin Bobo. My auntie would tell him, take us to the center. The center was the boys and girls club across the street. I remember the center vividly because we would be in there hooping playing all type of baseball, going on all type of trips to these deep river water parks and kitty land. Anybody in the shop <clears throat> remember like taking field trips to kitty land. They had all the different type of rides in there. The cartoon figures dressed up in the costumes. Like we would, we would have a ball at the center, man. Like we had all type of games. They had like pool games. They had arcade games in there. We would play the table hockey, the fool's ball. All this type of stuff just to get out the crib and have some fun to do. Then not to mention when we got hungry. If you was hungry, auntie was going to send you the chokes. Now chokes, I forgot what floor was on. But choke sandwiches, for those who don't know, is sandwiches without mayonnaise on it. Real dry sandwiches. Sandwiches that just had the meat on it. They would be in these little boxes like box lunches. They would have the milk in there and they would have um the cookie in there. And so I'm guessing they gave these uh box lunches to... This program for the housing project to help kids that maybe didn't have food in the house eat. I hated these choke sandwiches, but I love the cookies and milk. I'll be down there slamming the cookies and milk. But hell no, you can't have me in there eating them choke sandwiches. Oh no, not at all. I'm a turkey guy too. I ain't like that ham, that salami. Y'all can keep it. But nonetheless, man, them cookies are smacking and we would go down there for a meal from time to time. Then I remember like it was a restaurant called Pete's. And, um, damn, what was Pete's on? Was it 49th or 50th? Right, right, right up the street. You get, what, three wings, some fries, and a piece of bread for, like, $2. Po' man meal at his finest. $2 get you fed for real. Like, we'll go every time we would be hungry. Monty, Bobo, Crystal, walk them kids up there to Pete's. We'll go up there and eat the, um, we eat these three wings, these fries with the mild sauce. And um and the bread. Then not to mention they had the candy ladies in the hood. The candy ladies sold the icy cups, the freeze cups. Y'all know the Kool-Aid and the little, and we put it in the freezer, freeze it. We suck on the cup, the juice out the cup. We had that up in there. And we would go get like pickles and chips and chips with cheese, all type of stuff, bro. Like, I'm thinking about it now, like, man, we would be ripping and running through these project hallways, smelling like piss. Everything. I remember when my mama used to be like, we go up in there like, y'all don't touch these rails now. 
You don't know what folks, folks doing on these rails. You don't know what folks be doing on these rails. And my mama was, she spent the last portion of her life being raised in these project houses. Oh, she was in the building 50, 5041 was the building she was in. And so, I just like, all a lot of my, my uh, maternal side of the family, they all grew up in these project houses, man. And like, this 16-story building, it would be all type of stuff going on up in there, man. Like, my cousin... My cousin Lester, he great with art, great with art. I remember he drew the Animaniacs like on a wall with a marker, like, and it was dope, like for everybody to see it, like some hood graffiti that you can see. My cousin had some real talent. He would make all type of video, uh, pictures up in my auntie's um, apartment, all type of dope pictures, Dragon Ball Z, all the type of anime figures. To this day, Lester still cold with this stuff, like. Like, all type of people would have all type of graffiti stuff on the wall to show their creativity in any way they can to express themselves while they're living in a project housing in not the best conditions, in poverty, and still just trying to have fun at its best, man. Like, I remember all this stuff, and I'm thinking about the fun we used to have. Like, anybody in Robert Taylor Buildings, y'all got some memories y'all like to add? Drop them, man. Drop them in here, man. Like, for real, for real. I'm talking about the positive memories right now, you know what I mean? We know a lot of crazy violence and stuff happened, but I'm talking about all the good things that I remember about the Robert Taylor building, man. Like, the candy ladies always will be like all the fruities and chews. Anybody know, first of all, fruities always better than chews. Anybody that tell you otherwise, something wrong with them, they off their rocker. I remember straight cats being in the projects, and my auntie would take, she took a cat in, a straight cat they found in there. I mean, groomed it up. Kept her, kept her clean, was fed her, and she was she was dolled up. They called her Thee Thee. I remember this little cat, man. I'm looking like it was always straight cats walking around in the project buildings. You like what the hell, like? And then I remember when the elevators was to go out. Like when the elevator go out, don't let your auntie and your people stay on the tenth floor. You gotta walk all ten flights of these stairs to get just to get to your apartment building, apartment building you trying to get to. Then not to mention you got groceries. We gotta help auntie, all the kids, all the niece, all the nephews, and her children, her son, and you know, the cousins have to come downstairs, help auntie get these stuff upstairs, man. But my auntie used to hook everybody in the projects built. She used to hook everybody in the projects. She used to hook their hair up. Like my auntie was dope with the braiding. She one of the best braiders I ever seen in my life. Like, she was doing everybody braids up, hooking them up, having them looking pretty for prom or um, graduation or whatever occasion they was going to, Auntie was the the, the plug on the braids in the hood, like, and that's how she earned her income for real, man. She was doing the braids, man, and she would hook it up, and everybody be good, like. I just remember that, man, and I had so much fun in there. They, they knocked the last building down in 2007. It was 5135, and I was just it looked so blank and bleak over there in Bronzeville area. But anybody that got some experiences they want to share, drop them.